welcome back to the arena guys today we are here with another episode in this episode we are going to be completely breaking down the electro dragon i know you guys are just wondered right now because i break down strategies and tips and all those things but today we are going to be break down a troop all of its mechanics how it's gonna work so if you can understand the mechanics of each and every troop then you will be getting better at base identification so on which base the particular troop is going to be working so that's what we're going to be discussing and for today's video we're having the electro dragon here so if you want any other troop where i should tell you all of the information about that then be sure to let me know in the comments as well so let's get into that and break it down for you guys The Electro Dragon is a real beast. It has 30, to 30 housing space and it deals a lot of damage. But the disadvantage is it is too slow. An Electro Dragon can chain through up to 5 buildings with decreasing damage. Its chain effect goes on decreasing from a building to building. The Electro Dragon chain can also pass through with a one tile gap between each building. But an Electro Dragon chain will not pass through a building if there are two tile spaces in between them. An Electro Dragon chain will not be affected if there is a wall in front of the building, such as this one. An Electro Dragon chain will still continue to go if there are unequal spaces or between things like that between them. An Electro Dragon chain will always move to the nearest building such as this one it will not go for the archer tower on the front or the archer tower on the right an electro dragon chain need not go always on a straight line it still can go vertically something like this one not an electro dragon chain will always go to the nearest building and not to the maximum where it can chain through here the electro dragon can chain through the dark elixir storage and to the um, gold storage right there. An Electro Dragon's chain can still go through army camps even though it's a 4 into 4 tile range. When 4 buildings are placed together, an Electro Dragon chain is not decided where you deploy them or anything like that. It just goes to a random nearby building. You can exactly know when an Electro Dragon will attack. We just look closer at its back. The light keeps glowing and when the final light it's just gonna shot. An electro dragon can still have its chain with enemy heroes in the path. Something like this. That is how the that is how you use the electro dragons guys and that is how it works. I showed you many clips how an electro dragon's mechanics really works. So with that mechanic, the best base you can find is going to be very tightly packed bases are not open bases so that you will be easily able to attack them with the electro dragons the best spell to combine with the electro dragons is pretty much going to be the rage spell that's because the electro dragon just only has a moment speed of 12 using the rage spell is pretty much going to speed up the electro dragons and also it's going to boost its damage so the electro dragon can pretty much one shot most of the buildings even an air defense so which is going to be really key when it comes to the electro dragon so the free spell is also a very good spell to use with the electro dragons because single targeting inferno could, could pretty much wreck your electro dragon so the free spell could just reset the inferno towers and could help you a lot so that is all for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this as well so please don't forget to leave a like subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads and i'll be back with another episode on the channel until then clash on